Hello there, Mark Cunningham here. And in this video, I'm going to show you how you can download your contacts from Xero and into a CSV file. I use the Australian version of Xero's demo company in this video, but it's the same process all around the world. So you can watch this video no matter where you're from. And if you'd like to learn more about Xero, then check out the links to our courses in the description below. Okay, so before we jump into Xero, just a couple of things. First of all, why you might want to actually export your contacts out of Xero. So you may need to do this so you can upload the contacts into a marketing CRM or other database. And that's made easy because the data that you download will be in a CSV file format. Okay, and you can also open it in Microsoft Excel or Google Sheets if you want to. And that's pretty handy if you want to actually edit the data and then import it back into Xero which is a good way of making bulk changes to your contacts if you need to. And if you want to know how to do that, you can just see our other video on importing contacts into Xero. Okay, so let's jump into Xero now and see how we can export our contacts. Okay, so from the main dashboard here, just go into contacts and all contacts. And the place you need to go is over here on this little drop down menu where it says export. But before we do that, I'll just show you that at the moment, you can see I'm on all there. So I've got all contacts um, in the demo company um, open at the moment showing up here. So that means if I press export now, it will download uh, the details of all of the contacts. But if you don't wanna do that and you just want to download details of a particular group, so customers is a group, if I click on that one, so that's got a different list now. That's just the customers or suppliers. Okay, so that's the suppliers and they're standard groups that come with zero. But you can also create your own groups. So if you've got some sort of group that you wanna create, so you can just give a name and then create it. And then you can go through and pick which contacts you actually want in that group. And then if you choose that group, only those contacts will show up here and then you can export just the details of those contacts. So I'm just basically showing you that you can use groups to download um, particular lists of contacts if you like. So I'll just go back to all. And just another thing, you can actually also just manually select some contacts and export. So if you've got one or a couple of them in particular that you want to export, you can just choose them that way. All right, so what I'm gonna do is I'll just leave it on all and I'll just go export. Okay, so that's downloaded as a CSV file and that's going to open for me in Excel because I've got Microsoft Excel. Okay, so now I've got a file open that has the details of all my contacts. So if I just move that out a little bit, you can see that's the contact names down there. And then it's just got all the rest of the details in here in all these different columns. So you can see here, it's got email addresses, not all of them are populated because not every contact has an email address actually in zero. But just in general, you can see as you go along, you've just got all these different fields and you've got some of the data filled in and some of it not filled in. Okay, so you can also open this file in Google Sheets if you upload it to Google Sheets, if that's what you use instead of Excel. And like I said before, you can also upload it into any other program um, such as marketing programs um, or other database programs that take CSV files. So you can see that's contacts.csv up the top there. Okay, so that's how simple it is to just export or download your contacts um, from zero. So you can go ahead and change them here and re-upload them if you wanna make bulk changes, or you can upload them into a different system.